Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, I'll be showing how to do process capability study for uh, many variables at the same time using the process capability platform in Jump. So to open the process capability platform, you go to analyze quality and process and then choose process capability. So here, uh, if you go to process, there are like uh, many variables and let's say you want to analyze the first 10 variables. Uh, and then you can add them as a Y column. And uh, then here there are uh, additional options uh, to add process subgrouping, moving range options, historical information or distribution options. In, if, in case that is needed, you can change those and then you can say OK. And the plot here that you're seeing uh, is called as a goal plot. And uh, you can actually color the goal plot to make them appear uh, uh, and identify the troubling variables easily. So here uh, in this, you can actually change the PPK to something higher if needed. Let's say we want 1.5 uh, or maybe 1.3. So here uh, you can see a triangle over here. So, so the variables that are inside the green region, those are the ones that are uh, doing well and they are capable. Uh, the ones that are in the yellow are um, are borderline processes and those that are in the red region, uh, those are not capable. So here and also if you can move the mouse pointer to each of these variables, uh, you can see a, uh, uh, a control chart graphlet here. And, uh, and in order to, let's say you want to identify the most troubling variables, uh, another way to you, uh, do that is by uh, using the capability box plot that is automatically plotted when you along with the goal plot. So here you can see the, uh, the variable IVP1 is off target and also is, uh, uh, is well beyond the upper spec limit. Uh, the green uh, dashed line on the right is the upper spec limit and the green uh, uh, dashed line on the left is the lower spec limit and the green solid line in the center is the target. And you can also see that the variable IVP2 is uh, off target is also very variable and is the, and the, is the mean is uh, well beyond the lower spec limit. And another way to identify uh, troublesome variables in a process is by using the capability index that is plotted along with the goal plot. And uh, here uh, uh, you can see that this is a plot uh, which shows the uh, all the PPK values uh, along uh, for each of these variables. Uh, and additionally, uh, you can also plot the uh, process capability report for each of these variables uh, from the red triangle option here. And uh, you can choose individual detail reports. So here uh, you can see that uh, for each of the uh, uh, variables, uh, the process capability uh, report, uh, which, show, which shows the process summary, the short term standard deviation based capability, the capability indices based on the long term standard deviation and the non-conformance report are plotted. So now if you go to uh, the variable uh, IVP1, uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, well beyond the upper spec limit, uh, something that we saw from the goal plot uh, before. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it.